it's Lisa here and I want to pass on to you some very beautiful, tropical, amazing greetings from Thailand where a lot of the STS team members are currently residing. Not permanently, but for some time maybe. In a couple of days it is the Valentine's Day. It is the day where we celebrate love, where we celebrate intimacy and beautiful relationships and friendships and hold dear all the important things in life. Because of this I have a message for you that I want to share. A lot of people when they think about love and the heart chakra which is the seat of true love are thinking that being a very loving person means to be a nice person, having a nice personality or being a person who is just very sweet and very you know, lovey-dovey, so to speak. But of course, in Tantra and in Yoga, we know that there is so much more at the level of the heart chakra. The true state of love is a state of being, is a state of consciousness, which becomes accessible to everybody who is seeking for it, who is investing in time and energy and who is knocking the door. You all know this expression from the Bible already, where you know, the door shall be opened if you knock on it. So Tantrics, in their practices, they focus on all of the chakras, including Anahata as well. Having an activation of Anahata, this is not just some energy point or a point of light or some kind of a very abstract, abstract concept. Instead, the heart chakra is a true gateway. It's a profound gateway. It is a gateway that leads an, any diligent practitioner to super high states, very deep experiences of love, which usually very few people rarely ever achieve. Many wish to have Anata Chakra, many people find it to be important for them, but very few still reach there. Often enough, we find ourselves still falling back into the old habits and into lower levels of consciousness and even to the states of ego. You know, all of us have experienced that probably when you have an argument with a person who is actually so dear to you, so precious, so important to you, but still that relationship or that interaction can sometimes really infuriate you. The paradox of being a human being, right? Well, the spiritual heart is something different. The spiritual heart goes way beyond the heart that we are using in our daily relationship interactions and in general in daily life. The spiritual heart, actually the way Soma says it, if you know and recognize your spiritual heart, you actually know and recognize God. And this is a beautiful, amazing statement. So this weekend, starting already on Saturday, we are having a two-day workshop called The Awakening of the Spiritual Heart. And this workshop is dedicated to exactly the concept of opening this deep gateway of Anahata and reaching God through this. This is real, this is possible and it is very very accessible. It's, it's within our own reach, it's inside of all of us, this gateway, it just needs to be opened with the right key. And this weekend Somananda, Dharmananda, myself and the rest of our team are going to do exactly that. So I'm inviting you to spend this Valentine's weekend dedicated to true love, dedicated to deep states of love, accessing them, feeling them, experiencing them, because that is what is going to happen during the two days of this course. So I'm really warmly welcoming you to join. We have also at the moment a special Valentine's campaign available. If you use Valentine, 14 in the checkout you can sign up for the course with 14% discount as well so sending you a lot of love and greetings from here from Thailand and hoping to see you on live mode very very soon thank you